Hello there, so welcome to TET channel In this video we're going to be looking at the fan curve and by the end of this video you will learn how to read the performance of a fan curve engineers and designers who select and specify fans should have a basic knowledge of fan curves and an understanding of how these are produced is uh, vital for verifying the original fan selection. Troubleshooting after an installation and understanding future flexibility. A fan curve is a way to graphically understand the performance of a particular fan which is used to illustrate some key points such as uh, uh, cubic feet per minute, uh, revolution per minute, uh, static pressure, and brick or spiral. So with this uh, data, we'll be able to decide which fan works best for our application and make a more informed decision about the process we are making. Understanding how these uh, measurements uh, work, we need to understand where they sit on the graph. Fan curve uh, always slows from upper left down to lower right, so the green circle is the intersection of the fan curve, which shows the performance of the fan. If you look at the fan curve, uh, here the solid red line is the fan curve that is showing the CFM versus the static pressure. The blue horizontal axis shows the airflow. The yellow vertical axis is the static pressure, which is uh, measured in inch of water column. The solid white line is the horsepower, which uh, versus CFM curve. The red dot line is the system curve, and the green dot line is called the search line, and it's also known as do not select line, so we do not select the fan near or close to the left of that line. As I mentioned, uh, a fan curve uh, always slows from upper left down to lower right, which uh, the intersection of the system curve uh, represents the performance of the fan. In this case, um, a 2700 CFM of uh, air at the static pressure of uh, 0.9 inch of uh, water column. Therefore, we are going to get the uh, most airflow when there is the least resistance. On the vertical uh, left axis, uh, which uh, is uh, at zero resistance, we're going to get the most airflow. So, in this case, uh, we have a uh, 3100 uh, CFM of uh, air at the uh, zero resistance. So when we add uh, pressure to the system which the fan has to overcome the amount of airflow to lever will become less and less. Uh, that's why the curve uh, goes down. In other words, as the pressure uh, increases, the amount of airflow to lever decreases. Uh, let's say we have a fan connected to the system. It uh, only delivers uh, a 2400 CFM of uh, air at the static pressure of uh, 0.6 inch of uh, water column. So in this case, the intersection of the system curve and the fan curve is uh, going to be higher and higher. As you can see, uh, here is uh, another example. We have a fan there is uh, less pressure and it's operating at uh, static pressure of uh, 0.4 inch of uh, water column. So it's going to deliver a 2600 CFM of uh, airflow. Uh, therefore, we have uh, less pressure and more airflow. So as the pressure decreases, uh, the airflow increases. And that's it for today. I appreciate you for watching this video.